Just a brief aside before I get into the video. We all know what this block is. Wait, why is... What is this block? Oh, it's an air block, which is what I'm going to show you later on in the video. But we all know what this block is. It's TNT. Just show up. There we go. But do you guys know what this block is? It might look familiar to you, and you can probably guess what it is based on the coloring of the block. This is an end crystal block. And there's only one way to get it as far as I know. This is a Reddit post by Duck of Darkness 555. And it shows you a brief method on how to actually obtain it, which is very funny, because I believe it's on Xbox edition. It's not your regular bedrock edition, but it only shows up if you're not looking at it because of the way it renders as a block. And this is what it is. And I can punch it and it doesn't drop anything, which is fine. But the explosion power of it is exactly the same. I bet you're all disappointed by that. But, can't always get what you want. What is happening? Did I really glitch out my world so much that things are just not showing up? I'm gonna show you something that will break every villager. And I didn't really think this was gonna work. It's just a bit of strange behavior that exists in the game that I did not discover until today. These villagers all have normal trades. Wheat to emerald, potato to emerald. This is a pretty good villager. But this villager is about to become illegal. So with this command, now every villager now trades for a totem of undying, which doesn't exist. You cannot do this. You cannot obtain totem of undying through villagers. It's impossible, which is kind of why I've never discovered it until now. So villagers hold items depending on the item you're holding, if it corresponds with an existing trade. So if I hold an emerald, villagers will automatically hold a totem because it corresponds with the trade, emerald or totem. This villager is technically holding this item in their hand. So if you whack them, please don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Good. If you continuously whack the villager, come, come back. Oh no, is this gonna be the way this video is gonna go? Well, this is fine. This is how I play Minecraft, everyone. Come back. Actually, I'm not even gonna kill the villager because what's gonna happen is the villager is going to activate their totem. Are you going for me? No, don't. <laughs> how far are you gonna go for revenge? I ain't golem. Well, I let you hit me once. I now have hardware. Hey! Okay, which means he survived, so he's not dead, but something very strange happens to this villager after he uses the totem. I'm gonna access his traits. The totem has disappeared, and now he's trading air. Whatever he's holding in his hand actually comes from this, and this villager is now officially broken. You cannot do anything with this villager. Here's a lesson. Let me just place another one. Right here, they're all looking for their job blocks now. There we go. Okay, cauldrons. Fantastic. So the lesson is this. If you can somehow get a villager to use their items here, because they actually tangibly exist, apparently, these will disappear forever. Stop looking at me. Can't even begin to fathom what this is going to look like. Oh. Brilliant. I mean, you're still wearing clothes. Now wear those ones. Stop looking at me like that. I've been thinking about this for half an hour. I think I'm done with this image in my head. Promise big explosion. Oh, nice. 